Mental health is not a destination but a process. It's about how you drive, not where you are going. You don't have to struggle in silence. You can be unsilent. You can live well with a mental health condition as long as you open up to somebody about it. Just because no one else can heal or do your inner work for you doesn't mean you can, should, or need to do it alone. dealing with the Lord sometimes you just see a smiling and you don't know that you know what this person has been through one two three and if you can hear that I dare you you'll faint instantly <laughs> I just finished uh, shooting my Soulful Sunday video. I wanted to shoot another content for carriers and education, but I couldn't. Because of the time, it's late. The time is 10 past, almost 10 past 5. So, so yeah. I just want to start this vlog because tomorrow... I'll be vlogging, I'll be linking up with my bestie, my wifey, we do Melo. So tomorrow I'm going to Naturena to my sister, I'm going to my mom. Then we're gonna go to our friend's uh, baby shower in Protitlen. Then I'm gonna go to we do Melo's house just to see the baby, how I miss the boy. It's been a while, maybe over a year since uh, I haven't seen him because we're staying so far from each other. But besides, that's besides the point. Excuses, excuses, we can always make time, you know that. So today I was just shooting content um, for my Soulful Sunday segment. I'll release it tomorrow. I'll be editing tonight. Then tomorrow I'm going to my mom from there. No, 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 no. Before that, we're going to church in Pimville, Grace Bible Church in Pimville. Uh, I so wish we attend the 7 a.m. service because I love the early morning things, you know, so that we can have plenty of time to do other things and run, you know, errands and all that. So, yeah, I'm going to see my family, my mom. Then we are going to go to Midlands and, yeah gonna meet our friends um call each other stogo people won't understand but yeah stogo stogo so our stogo is getting married and um congrats to me even though i found out this week um, i hope you guys are safe and keeping warm i see it's about to rain but it's not raining as yet please be kind to yourself see my board um, I don't know if you can see this, but you be kind to yourself. Um, so yeah, guys, please do subscribe to my channel so that you become part of this family and surely, you know, see you tomorrow when I'm going to, what's this, to the um, baby shower and the wedding and all that. I ordered myself something from Burger King. So I'm gonna have this for supper. I'm not even hungry. I don't know why. Since my friend's passing, I, I haven't been eating the way I'm supposed to, but it's fine. So yeah. I'm just gonna have this. I think it's wings, mozzarella sticks. Um, chicken whatever Aibo the dogs are dogs in Boom. let me check the dogs come Luna come come baby come Nunu come this way stocks don't come out now hey. 
making me work overtime. Okay, go back. Ha ha! Come, follow me. Woo woo! Hey! Da, Bettine. Don't go to my room. Ha ha ha! Hi, Bo. What are you guys doing? Betty, move, move. <clears throat> and no. <coughs> guys, meet. Um, why are you breathing like this? Why are you breathing like this? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? Say hi. Say hi, my name is Pity Pity. I look like ghost, but I'm not ghost. I'm two men. Oh, tell them. Tell them, ne? Come clever. You and eating. My charges. <clears throat> I will kill you. Ah! Please stop eating my charges. This is not funny anymore. Stop eating my charges, ne? Ne clever? Mm, don't leave me. Hi guys, this is clever. Okay, this is the male, and the previous one I showed you is a female. It's pity pity. This one is clever, 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 barry, clever, barry, clever, barry, clever things. Look at this one. Hey, 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 to make breakfast I'm having this with Milo Milo so yeah I just need some energy for a great day ahead and it's a bit cold so I can't have juice or anything cold I'm busy watching YouTube Lavender I love this channel so much. I love it so much. I don't know if you guys can. I want to turn the camera. No, it won't be possible. The camera is rather up than the TV is lower. So yeah, guys, my plans, I have failed all of them. It's not a train smash, it's life. Such things happen. We know ish happens in life. So yeah. If there's one thing I hate doing is eating on camera. I rather eat afterwards. So, guys, I just want to have a chit chat with you <clears throat> regarding. Let me lower the volume of this thing. I just want to have a real talk with you guys. Um, you know I stream church life I've uploaded my soulful Sunday's um, video for my soulful Sunday segment on YouTube for my YouTube channel you all know if you don't know every Sunday's I'm doing the soulful Sunday's very interesting I'm sharing the Word of God you know I'm not a preacher of some sort or rather a pastor or but I'm just sharing that God said I should do it so I'm answering to the calling so yeah you know sometimes we tend to like um, shy away from you know 
real life issues real life challenges and whatnot and um, me personally I just find you know comfort in the Lord I just find comfort in the presence of the Lord uh, in reading the word of the Lord you know motivational Bible you know scriptures motivational you know godly preaching and whatnot those Bible audios that uh, my friend sent me so I believe in you know praying as friends praying as family praying as I don't know a group of some support of um, of some sort however you want it to be just find those people to pray with even if you're not together even if you're far from each other for instance I have my friend who's in China Dumeling we call it Dumi she's in China she's been there for like it's been a, a while now but believe it or not I kid you not we call each other we pray over the phone we pray over the phone until we could no longer it does not mean uh, we must pray you know physically otherwise then we wouldn't even pray for each other while they're not around because as we're praying for ourselves we also need to pray for our loved ones for those who need prayers for those who don't have shelter for those who are struggling with um, what's this chronic diseases yeah diseases so the reason why I'm, I'm making this um, chit chat you know real talk real life talk is because my plan failed i'm no longer going to the wedding i was supposed to go to early morning church the wedding and the baby shower so i just thought you know what before i'm doing what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to be somewhere at one let me just do you know chit chat talking about real life stuff firstly i just want to talk about God in conjunction with our mental health. Our mental health is very, 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 very vital, very, very important, very, very, very necessary for it to be in a good state, in a positive state at all times. I'm not a psychologist, whereas I do have a psychologist, I'm not a therapist, whereas I do have one. And um you know I'm just talking about my own life experience or experiences rather so disclaimer right there I'm putting a disclaimer that whatever advice I'll be giving whatever I'll be sharing it's it's more of me sharing than giving advice you know mental health is very 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 vital and if your mental health is not in a good state it's in a negative state you tend to do things that you're not supposed to do you tend to think the way you shouldn't be thinking you tend to act the way you're not supposed to be acting and i would say that as a person you know yourself you know yourself you know when you are not you know in a good mood you know when you are down you know when you you know this feeling of sometimes you just feel like something is wrong or you're just not okay but you can necessarily pinpoint where's the problem you know such moments sometimes uh you are fully aware of yourself that you know what i'm no longer that baji that i know i'm no longer myself and it takes courage support and prayer and the word of god to regain that strength to to be you know renewed rejuvenated and be yourself again you really need to pick up the pieces and Get yourself together and be okay. Because depression is nipa bin flays. Depression is no child's play. Depression is no joke. And when it hits you and it hits you hard, sometimes it's so, so, so hard to get out of it. So, naturally, I'm... I'm tend to struggle with anxiety then they depending on the situations uh, maybe when there's a funeral or someone died or some scary situation I tend to be my anxiety you know will be on steroids my anxiety level will be like on steroids so you can imagine uh, such type of a person like 
like me who's battling with uh, anxiety full-time part-time or in some instances then you get hit by depression you can imagine that combination but it's very important to be fully aware of what's upsetting you what makes you anxious why are you anxious why are you scared why are you excuse me fearful and self-awareness is very important sometimes you know what i do if i feel some type of way if i don't feel like my normal self i journal i write down i theorize i do all the things and maybe i don't know it might work for you just write down that i'm feeling this way what was the trigger maybe one two three um how did it make me feel oh yeah it made me feel sad oh it reminded me of something that happened in the past maybe some traumatic experience sometimes it might not even be that it will just be maybe someone upsetting you maybe a church at work at home on the street or a stranger then you're upset that you then you tend to take out your anger on other people so it's very important daily to check up on our mental health so what I do mainly I wake up I pray I make sure that I'm I dwell in the presence of the Lord I can't say for how long until I'm satisfied then I go around the estate around my complex I jog or I run most of the time I run I use my fitness watch to you know just to measure my steps heart rate and all that i connected with my phone then when i come back i do my squats because i'm very thin i don't see a need of doing other exercises than squats so i do that then i do yoga meditation then i do affirmations then i plan my day then i get to work even on weekends i do some of that even though it's hard to do that every day sometimes i just feel you know what, I wake up feeling very, very empty to an extent whereby I don't feel like doing anything. But there's nothing I can do in order for me to pay my bills, you know, to live um, the nice life that I like, that I love. I gotta work, I gotta work. So I push myself. So I do have a, a routine. Let me show you my board. So I have this, I don't know if you'll be able to see from 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever I do, I know you won't be able to see it, but it reminds me that at 5 a.m. I need to pray at whatever time I need to do what and whatever time I need to get ready for work and all that and it helps a lot to try and create some sort of a routine you know as much as when you wake up you know it's necessary for you to do your bed then if you don't do that then something is wrong um it's necessary for you to do some self-care you know brush your teeth and also bath you understand i know we cannot do all those things but at least try and pick one i do have my days whereby I can't and I don't do it. I know I'll feel bad as if I killed someone. Maybe the next day I won't do it. The third day I won't do it also. Then on the fourth day I'll be like, you know what, Baji, get yourself back on track, Baji. So from me, Baji Batara, I just thought I should share some, you know, a little bit of information about mental health that please do check up on your mental health. And if you feel that, you really 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 struggling please there are psychologists out there the people in your churches counseling in clinics wherever do make sure that you talk to someone don't just you know take all these things in you inside you because the minute you explode it won't be nice so it's very 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 important to see the therapist you know psychologist those people were trained to do their job the, the, the very best they can and trust them to help you and to change your life because at some point 
we all need help even the strong people they do need help i've mentioned in my previous video that i don't even know how many you know therapists i have and they do help those people because we are all human we're dealing with the lord sometimes you just see a smiling can't you don't know that you know what this person has been through one two three and if you can hear that i dare you you'll faint instantly so it's very important to be aware of yourself self-awareness is very important do some sort of a routine create a routine for yourself you know and dwell on the word of god if you believe in god please do that and you'll see your life might not be the same and you must know that it's a process it's not something that you're going to create a routine and you do it for one day then afterwards it's all done no it doesn't happen like that it's a process self-development it's a it's a it's an ongoing journey it's an ongoing journey i remember i started mine i don't know maybe six six years ago but somewhere somehow along the way i stumble i fall but you know the nice part is no when you fall seven times and get up eight you get that so yeah i hope you've enjoyed my um chit chat with you about mental health to take care of your mental health if you're not feeling okay if there are things bothering you share them with other people and seek help depression is real people are dying people are going you know what insane because of depression that they are not dealing with and that they're not getting help with so Thank you very much and I hope this um, this uh, chit chat will have a positive impact in someone's life and thank you for tuning in. This is the end of my vlog. I need to leave it one and for me, Bajibatara Raisi, I love you and please do subscribe. Bye bye.